Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to try and show you guys how I created this fire explosive kind of effect. I've had inquiries about this before. Let's just run the animation first. This is posted on my channel somewhere. It just plays this loop over and over again. And so the effect worked pretty well. But so what's interesting about it is the way I created it is it's a combination of a couple things. First, like is typical with fire sometimes fires swirl so there's swirling effects associated with the animation and also these things here these little particles shoot out kind of simulating you know exploding effects that's maybe a little unrealistic but it was kind of the effect I was looking for anyway and so I'll show you how I did it and believe it or not it was created from one of my tornado scenes that I've done in blender render now unlike the animation that I just posted a couple weeks ago where I was doing the particle based tornadoes within the game engine and those are particles that I generate on my own because there's not a particle system within there but in this case I'm actually using a particle system and, and so really all it is if I run the animation is in here it's just see that it's a cone and within the cone that's kind of pre-built and that's moving along the ground as a particle system and so the particles are getting emitted and they're hitting the inside of the cone and they're swirling up and around based upon the direction in which I'm emitting them from inside and so the particle system is just following along the inside of the cone it's attached to it and following along and then so this is the these are the effects that I get when I creating tornadoes so if you have a really fast computer and you're doing some fancy cycles animation, you might try that. And it also allows me to shoot particles out. Well, if you think about it for a second, if the particles in here, some, where is the particle system? Let's go back to the beginning. I can show you maybe where it is. Yeah, maybe it's right about in there. Okay, so the particles are getting spit out by the emitters in here somewhere. And then you see they kind of bounce up along the edge of this this object. But if they're being contained, how do I get these explosive effects shooting out at the same time? Well, then, so let's go take a look in the material mode. You can see I have transparency set. And I have the alpha all the way turned down. So let's turn it up. So now we can see the actual object. And so what I had done, if you look closely, I built holes into the inside. So as it's as these particles are spitting around on the inside and spitting out, there are, some of them escape through the holes in here, and that's what you see are the effects going out. So it works well for both fire and for tornado effects. So if you want to try and do animations, of, co of course you can use the game engine to do animations that you send out to Blender Render and then do cycles rendering, but it's a little, not quite the same thing and like I said you have to create your own particle system if you're using the game engine and that's comes down to doing a lot of code which not everybody wants to write code I like to write code though right so hopefully that gives you a little insight into creating the effect like I said it works well for both tornadoes and fire just let this run a few more times now I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to make the fire and the smoke because it's been a couple of years since I've done it and I'm sure I'm completely rusty on that subject and I'm sure you got I'm sure there's tons of videos out there on how to make fire and smoke but uh, well at least that's the way I did it all right well I hope that helps you in your own work and I'll see you in the next video